Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. I got a request here on the channel to take a look at a uh, web browser called Puffin, I think it is, on Chrome OS. And this is an Android app, so this isn't going to work on Chrome OS Flex. However, it may work on Fido OS or one of the other ones that can do Android. So I'm just going to go to the Play Store and search for uh, Puffin. And we're going to download it and see what's up. I have not tried this before, but my understanding of it uh, just from reading about it before the video here is that it actually does all the uh, web browsing and rendering in the cloud and then you're kind of just streaming the uh, information into your browser and so it's supposed to be faster I mean look at about this app it says it's wicked fast so we will see how wicked and fast it is it is currently installing and we'll open it And I hope it does not make me create an account. Safe, data saving, ad block, get started. Okay, here we are, the browser. And I wonder, since this is an Android app, if I can just window it. Okay, here we are in a phone size window. Can I make it any size I want? So that's nice. Um, <clears throat> so you can have the Android app in a window like a regular app. The uh, resizing it's kind of laggy. That's okay. That's probably just how slow this tablet is. If you're on a um, fast uh, Chrome OS device, you probably won't have this problem. Okay. So it looks like the search bar is part of the tab. I'm just going to go to one of my websites, apeapps.com, and see how it loads. All right. So that's how long it took right there. I'm just, for comparison, going to try it in the regular Chrome browser. So neither one is uh, wicked fast on this tablet. Um, which one took the longest? I wasn't actually timing. They're they're both pretty similar. I wonder uh, if like a I don't maybe I'll try a game if a game can run on uh, this browser. I'm gonna try a WebGL game. That'd be a neat experiment. Okay, this is a WebGL based game. We're getting 11 FPS on here. The music works. The keyboard is not see how that runs on uh, Chrome here. Here we're at 40 something FPS, so quite a bit faster. So on a WebGL game, um, the regular Chrome browser is faster than this uh, Puffin. However, it, maybe that's not the kind of thing it's designed for. I'm not sure. What's another website I can test just to see if it's indeed faster? Oh, it's going to go back to my previous site. Let's try... Uh, let's see what's happening in the markets right now. Let's go to CNBC. So that came up fairly quick. Curious to see if the keyboard works on here. Yeah, the keyboard works on that. I don't know why it wasn't getting uh, key down events on that game. So, uh, I mean, things load fairly quick. It's not bad.
I don't know if it's uh, so much faster than just using regular Chrome, but here's the one thing that I can't necessarily test, but it might be a use case for this Puffin, is that um, I do have fiber internet at my house, which is pretty quick anyway, so I might not actually see any benefit from the Puffin browser. It's possible that if you have a really slow internet connection, then um, them actually fetching the pages and giving them to you directly might be faster. So you can tell me in the comments if that's the case. The only negatives I really see is just things are a little laggy like moving the window around resizing it it just feels a little slower but um I think all Android apps are kind of like that and if you have a high-powered Chrome OS tablet or a laptop you probably don't notice it that much I'm kind of using the lowest end Chrome OS device you can get so that's probably the issue there I imagine if you have one of these high-end you know the Google uh, What's their Chromebook called? It doesn't matter. I, I imagine there's ways that Android apps work pretty fast. But So that's it. That's Puffin Browser. It works. Um, personally, I wouldn't use it. I don't think I need it. But it might be good for some people, especially if you have a slower internet connection. You can let me know what you think in the comments. And if there's anything else you want me to test on Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex or Linux or anything else, let me know in the comments too. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a good day. Bye now.